four. All right, three, guys, we are back two, with Zach. One. <laughs> Hello. Good afternoon, people. brother man. Good afternoon, Daniel. Oh, dude. It's so, good to be here. Nice to be back in the park. You know, I love this park. It's so quiet. And uh, it's, it's just, it's nice. You know, it's, it's nice really, getting away, right? Yeah. You know, I had a friend of mine tell me she lives at the, the O, you know, the Oasis. And uh, she says, Zach, she says, when I leave here, I feel great. She said, when I come back, she said, I, I'm in a depression, you know, a rut. Like, she she says, I feel good every time I leave, you know. And um, I was thinking about that. I Is it just atmosphere or is it more so even like something more deeper, like a, a bad aura, bad, you know, um, juju? you know, in the air, like an evil vortex or something. You know, I, I've always been told that um, that neighborhood right there is a really old neighborhood, and it's it was built on ancient uh, Indian uh, burial ground. And bad things happen there. I mean, wow. I mean, and who better to do it to than uh, your uh, Caucasian, uh, you know, white man that that um took the land from the indians you know my my relatives so to speak some of them probably were involved in some way you know um sometimes i wonder if i'm biting off some bad karma for somebody's choices other than mine even yeah you know because I, I really don't have to do anything for my day to start bad you know i just got to be there <laughs> yeah, I hear you, man. Just a little food for thought, you know. <laughs> um, so when I when I first talked to you today, you said uh, some crazy happened this morning. Mm -hmm. let's, let's talk about that, and then mm -hmm. we'll get into um, what you wanted to talk about. You know, and this is this is uh, very concerning to I'm sure more people than me. Um, you know. Uh, I'll be the, the bearer of the bad news. Um, violence is, is spreading, you know, more so um, than it's been. You know, uh, I'm noticing that the young people have absolutely no respect for their elders whatsoever. And, um, I, I don't know if it's out of just sheer desperation or, or just just frustration or whatever, but more people are getting hurt. Um, and I was robbed at gunpoint this morning for almost nothing. You know, I didn't have much. I, I, it, I never really do, but um, I will say that when I do come up on anything lately, um, it's been taken from me pretty much. You know, uh, people are getting desperate. The, the, uh, I was not only robbed by a gunpoint, but he had a knife too. <laughs> you know, and uh, he made it very clear that he would split my wig, you know, like for starters. Um, I just, I just don't understand victimizing an old guy in a wheelchair you know I, I one of my problems is I tend to think that everybody uh, thinks like I do and I'm finding that they don't do you think you're looked at as a, a quick lick to some oh Especially yeah if they see yeah you, the wheelchair uh, screams victim you know um, I'm I'm like a, a wounded fish in the water you know just swimming in a circle like this yeah. <laughs> bleeding yeah. in the water for the sharks you know that happened overnight um yeah, the this morning you know Jeez. minding my own business and, and somebody just so i was and in all that 
is not scary enough to make us stop. You know, I've you know, experienced some scary stuff, and that didn't make me stop. As long as I got through it, I was like, okay. I will say that um, I uh, I can't say I've, I've just abruptly, totally stopped, but I've I've cut my uh, got it down to a dull roar, you know, um, and I'm I feel the old Zach shining through, you know, he's he's coming, and I I want to welcome him when he does. I will be very glad to see him. Um, who is the old Zach? Um, or who is Zach? The old Zach, um, he's he's a he's a good guy. He's a he's a good uh, he's he's a good man. Yeah, he sure is. You know, I, I'm proud of him. I I miss him. You know, I've I've sent him away. You know, and I just, I need him. I really need him because, you know, he, he does really drive the car the best. <laughs> you know, he, he does, he does do, do well, you know, at almost anything. And I, I'm very sad and, and disappointed and ashamed to say that I, you know, um, it was my my choice, you know, to not have him around, and I need him. On the way here, we were talking about um, how some people were changed by the blues. Um, how do you think the, the blues changed, Zach? Well, the worst thing I could say about them is they will take, they will make a man forget about people he loves, his family. Uh, I won't say forget. I'll say he'll make They'll, they'll be put on the back burner. And, you know, these things will make, I mean, you know, it could be years before somebody comes to and realizes what's happening. Really. You get caught into that hustle and bustle of surviving and, and, and you know, between that and be trying, trying to keep yourself right and out of pain. And, and, you know, everything else, that will, the rat race, I'll call it, the rat race will consume you. And, you know, by the time you come to, your loved ones might be gone. You know, who knows? Um, your chances that you had to do certain things are, are blown. And, uh, you know, you never really understood that everything was just slipping away out of your reach, you know, to where you're not even going to be able to. You, you, everything's falling apart, totally falling apart, and you're not caring. You're too busy chasing that stuff um, to, you know, and by the time you realize what's really going on it could very well be too late. Um, these blues were an attack on us. They were an attack on us. You know, I only not found out, I found out some new things recently. I never knew that, uh, the reason why my legs got that way and everything is because I'm a carrier. Okay, not every most people are not a carrier of this. 
you know, this, this, uh, this, uh, owie, mm. we'll call it, <laughs> you know, whatever you want to call it. Um, most people do not have the antibodies to, um, they won't get what I have. I'm one of the lucky ones, so to speak, you know, um, I don't know. Boy, sometimes I think it's because I was born in Vegas that, uh, I bought a lottery ticket yesterday, and uh, I was feeling lucky, you know. And when I when I feel like that, I I try to go with it, you know. And I scraped up a few bucks, and I bought a lottery ticket, and then I spilled water on it, and made it to where I couldn't, you know, get the letters off. I couldn't do the ticket, and then by the time I was done, it couldn't even have been scanned or read. Oh, you know, man. so I don't know what happened with it. I, I felt like I was going to win something, maybe something big, and, and I screwed that you never up. Know, man. You know? If you won $10 million, what would you do? Aside from getting me new equipment. Um, <laughs> you know, I would do more than that, Daniel, for you. If I had $10 million, you would be, you would be making movies. I make a movie. Um, peace, peace. Like today, right now, if you found out you won ten million, what would you do, if anything, about the habit situation, or would you just go take a trip, or what do you what do you think you would do? You know, I would hope that I wouldn't. Um, be consumed by the money and the addiction. And I would hope that I wouldn't allow it to come back full force because it would finish me off. It really would. The, these things are a serious attack on people like me, on anybody really, but people like me really get it. Um, you know, and I'm noticing that the police are corralling us around, you know, no matter, the, they'll be sitting on the corner watching and, you know, they'll drive us out of one spot and we will be walking down the street and they'll go to the other spot as we walk in and drive us out of there too. And then, uh, you know, there's nowhere for us to be. And, and you know, they forgot about my housing, I guess. I, they just, I was one of the ones that aren't going to get it. And I'm starting to believe that. I'm starting to believe that they really don't want to help me. With the info I got from the hospital that night, that blew my mind. I was still not sitting good. What, I, did, I, what info was that? Um, that? That they can medically do nothing more for me possible. And, you know, and then we've seen the treat and street thing, you know, and that just kind of shed some ugly light. On the whole thing, um, I really do feel discriminated against, and I feel done wrong. I do, you know, more so by myself than anybody. What do you say to the? It's been a few comments saying you guys don't see what's really going on. He's making up excuses. He hasn't been to every hospital. Like you want to bet? You know, hey, whoever says that, they are living in a fantasy world. They are believing what they want to believe or what they're told by people that want them to believe things. Um, you step out here into my shoes, into the real world, and go check out things from this point of view. And when we're done, when you're done, you won't have much good to say about it. You will definitely understand, and you it'll be the hard way, you know. Um, I'm sorry to say that whoever holds on to this little fantasy, that uh, these little fantasies that you guys have about all this help that's offered to us and everything, and about how people want to fix this. You know, my mom told me from when I was a little boy 
you know, when you get sick and when you get hurt, you, you go to the hospital, you go to the doctor, and, and he fixes you, gets you better. No. No. I'm, I'm a treat and street guy. You know, treat me with the, the bare minimum and then back on the street for me. You know, and, and I'm sorry to say, but maybe, maybe uh, the place you live isn't what you really believe it is. You know, maybe uh, all these people that uh, go and get help at the hospital and, and do that, maybe, I don't know, maybe they're um, one of the chosen ones or something. I, I, I don't understand. I'm definitely different. I've been made to feel different a lot lately. Made to feel different a lot by even friends. And um, I'm starting to realize that I, I, maybe I'm not worth helping or something. I don't know. You know, do, do I have a, a cleft lip or a, a hoof? For one of my legs or something, or, or, or you know, what is it? I mean, am I like the elephant man or something? Because uh, you know, I'm. I just feel like this treatment that I'm getting it can't be the the way that it's supposed to be. Um, I feel discriminated against big time. I feel hated. Um, I feel like they want me to kill myself or they want me to die. You know? I, I feel like like all the struggle and all the stuff I'm going through is part of their agenda. I feel attacked. Not just by people that I know. By people I don't know up in high places, you know, I'm, I'm one of the ones that are just, you know, uh, not supposed to uh, overcome, I'm not supposed to get help, my liver's been failing me and it's getting to, it's really to a bad point, I like, uh, I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to use what's left of it. Um, I don't think very much longer. It's it's gotten bad, real bad, and I'm starting to get these pains and cramps in my stomach and stuff. They're telling me that it's a lot more serious than I think, and that more time has passed than I thought, and that I'm. And I'm really seeing that I'm blowing it. And uh, that's what I'm talking about, those damn things. Everything will continue to get worse and eat your life alive while you're back doing the thing, you know. And th this thing that I'm doing, I don't even want to do it. I don't even like to do it. And I'm still doing it. I don't know if I'm just a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> Captain dumbass, I call myself sometimes. Um, I don't know if that's me, if that's what I am really am, or, or, or like, I mean, do I have a, a hunchback? Or, or I guess I do. Wow. I just don't know, man. I just don't know. Last video you mentioned... Uh law enforcement is scared of you what yeah was, you, you, what's that about they i went and laid down in a spot today that they just chased everybody out of and i went over there there was nobody there anymore i wheeled my wheelchair up there i i you know got out of it and i got squeezed my way into this little spot and i laid down because i was just burned out and tired from constantly um, going, 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 trying to figure out where I belong, and and to no avail. I I don't find out where it is, 
and I just, you know, go through the motions really. And um, when I laid down there, I heard a car, and I looked over. It was the police, and they stopped, and they seen it was me, and they went. They they were gonna get out and drive everybody away, but they seen it was me and they just me and they said, oh okay, just him. They don't want to be near me. Um, I cannot go to jail with this what I have. I cannot. Do you think they see you as a liability? Oh yes. Maybe? Or oh, they, yes. Do you think they, they know your pattern? Yeah, they or do. They do. Like how you work? I, well, they're they're probably <clears throat> placing bets as to you know when I'm gonna croak. Like you who's, know, I, who's gonna have to deal with you? Or? Yeah, I, I think that I think that they uh, probably have an ongoing bet, like the like at the Turf Paradise. You know, um, I'm like the, their horse. You know, some of them, you know, want me to succeed, and a lot of them don't. And I, I feel like I'm a serious underdog. You know, um, if only if everybody only knew. The real me and, and how how capable I am of, of just pulling rabbits out of my hat, you know. Um, I'm really not a dummy. I, I at least I don't believe I am. But my dad used to say, Zach, for doing for being so smart, you sure do some dumb stuff. And and you know what? He's right. He's right. But. You know, when this was a plan that was set in motion, um, and there was a lot that went into it, this, this thing with these blues. And, and believe me, the plan wasn't a good one. It wasn't to help the people of the United States. It wasn't to help us out and make sure we thrive and do good. It was to bring us down, way down. And, and that's what it's done. I, I, just, I just feel like it, you know, and I just took the bait, hook, line, and sinker, you know. Um, Do you think it's the amigos down south or our, I, our people? I think our people and them work to get out together. Why do you think they'd want to take people out? Um, because we're liabilities. We're a liability. We have nothing to offer our people country we have nothing to offer um the man nothing he is not interested in anything i do the only thing he really wants me to do is die for him and 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 to struggle the whole way doing it that's how i feel that's terrible for anybody to feel you know you know, I used to get upset when people would laugh at me and stuff. That's like nothing now. Laughing, that's all you're doing? At least you ain't crying like I am inside. You know? Um, Do you I, think we'll ever get to meet the real Zach? Or Zach? You will meet the real Zach. I am, I am here now you know not fully equipped but i'm 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 halfway done with this nightmare this curse i am i'm halfway done with it and the only reason why i don't just abruptly say that's it and and just not submit anymore at all is because the pain and the sickness and the and the and the just overall Everything is too much for me to handle. Um, I got so sick the other day that I, my brain went out the window, man. I did not care about anything. I was laying on the ground at the O, and I was, my friends were like, Zach, get up. And I was just like, if you guys are going to carry me, I'll get up. I'm, you know, I can't. Was it your legs that were hurting? Or you they, felt they, they, or the cramps were just everything? unbelievable. Cramping in your legs? Oh, my God. Like in your calves? Yes. Every, every, it's deep, deep, deep tissue. Like like uh, the, these these things got a real bad element. They really do. 
and and I know that they're hurting me serious, and I'm still letting them. That's a powerful thing right there. That's a powerful thing. You know, addiction is is uh, consuming. Yes, very, and, and you know it's. Yeah, um, it 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 takes the it has the power to suck everything good right out of you, and just leave the waste with you, you know. Um, what the heck, man? What the heck? You know, I, I, I statistically they had a certain kind of person. I'm sure that they want to do attack with this and I guess I'm it um I just I just don't know so we're almost we're about 26 minutes in okay anything you well want no I, I could I could do this all day I mean, <laughs> Me too. you're you're the, Me too. you're the you're the man with the plan you're the boss applesauce <laughs> Me too. I heard Judge Judy say that one time. I'm the boss, applesauce. You know? <laughs> Maybe I need a good thrashing from Judge Judy. You know what I mean? Oh, I don't say that. The hanging it's judge. Don't yeah, say that. the hanging. You know, I, oh, don't worry. I've been hanging for a long time. I, I'm good. Do you think yeah. it's going to take hitting the yard again for, for you to get? No. I, you know, divine intervention, I, I as much as I love it, I do not welcome it. Um, you know, it it has helped before, um, and it's usually not easily. You know, it takes a while to understand how divine it really is, and you got to roll with it. It works if you work it. See, this stuff doesn't work if you don't work it, and as long as you're on that, you ain't working nothing but yourself. You know, and like the hoops I have to jump through to make ends meet in this madness now, especially now after all the things that have transpired and everything, they're insane. Um, you know, only a couple of my friends, you see, when you go down this far, when you take yourself down this far, or you allow yourself to be taken down this far, you find out who your real friends really are. Because when I show up in the ways that I show up to my people, they are not glad to see me. Um, they're like, oh man, here he comes again, you know? You, you, it gets so, it gets so bad that um, people, people get mad at you for even asking them for a glass of water or anything. Um, and like I said, I think people think like me, and and you know, when when I see somebody that needs water or whatever, I'll give them mine, you know, whatever, whatever. But uh. I mean, the people are really insensitive to what's going on, and they treat us as as outcasts um, that are not human. You know, I, I'm not. I'm like the other guy. You know, the other white meat. You know. <laughs> so um, since. Since you're experiencing, um, how can I word it? Since you're experiencing adversity. all of this adversity, yeah, yeah. Since you're experiencing wicked adversity, and if there was somebody out there thinking about trying to woo, trying.
trying to believe for the first time? What, what, what message would you have? Do not uh, even think about it. I would, I would want you to um, use your brains and be smart and uh, if, even evaluate what you have seen and are seeing and what I'm telling you and understand that there ain't nothing for you here. Um, it's much better to feel the pain and the ups and downs of life and, you know, the in and out and ups and downs and over and outs and everything, you know, um, it's all part of life. Nothing is guaranteed and nothing is, is um, promised, you know, it's up in the air. But, but I'm a firm believer that most of the things that happen to us are not circumstantial. They're what we make happen. You know, may, maybe 80, 20. Maybe 80 is what we make happen and maybe 20 is circumstance that I can't control. You know, but I have to hold on to the fact I'm a realist and I know that I've, I have contributed in putting myself here. Um, and the choices that I make, you know, I, I try to see how I, I think about how I could make different choices and, and, and make the right ones. And I'm like, how? You know, um, this is this standpoint that I'm standing at, this place that I'm at right now, you don't want to go to. There ain't no way you would want to go here. And you would want no part of it. Um, don't be a statistic. You know? Don't uh, cut yourself short. Don't waste yourself in your life. Don't uh, lose your family or make them want to lose you or feel like they lost you yes mm -hmm. um don't cut yourself short life has plenty of things to offer great things wonderful things luckily i have been around for those things and and uh luckily i did get to participate in some of the things I'm talking about, like love, like being a father, you know, what life is really about, not this BS, not this, this nightmare, you know, I allowed myself, I, I'm too smart to allow myself to go through this, and that's what I've done. I've been broken down, you know, and... Do you feel like it's too late for you? It might be. Like you feel... If it, is, if it is, I'm very sad to say... If it is, I'm very sad to say it and know it. Um, Do you feel like you have the strength to right, try and make this work? Right now, I... I... I I'm a realist, like I said, I don't think I have the strength, but I surprise myself sometimes, you know? Yeah, we're a lot stronger than we Well, than we, we, we think we are. We, when you get to a point, though, um, you realize that you are nowhere near as strong as you should be or need to be. Um, like I said, this, uh, I, I feel mentally and physically, and like attack, I, I feel out of place, you know? And I try to think about who to be mad at and I guess I gotta say myself, you know? I allowed myself to be a statistic and a part of this mess. Um, I wasn't thinking correct. I wasn't thinking at all. Um, if I would have known 
everything that I was biting off, I would have left it alone. So I've given all you young people or whoever, young, old, whatever, do yourself a favor and take it from me and save you a lot of hassle and problems. So let's finish now off this with, this uh, wisdom right here. This, <laughs> don't, this wisdom don't come cheap. I had to learn everything the hard way. It was costly. So um, if you want, um, let's finish off with uh, giving some thanks to the. You have huge fans in the UK. And let's give thanks the to the Lord real quick. What's that? Let's give thanks to the Lord. Bam! Absolutely. Lord God, please. Bless everybody and keep everybody. Make your face shine upon everybody and, be, and grant us eternal peace. Amen. Amen, brother. So you have um, fans all the way from the States to the UK to the Netherlands. What do you got to say to them? I, I'm totally blown away amazing, about the, this country it's thing. Crazy. Different countries. <laughs> There's so many places. I mean, I've been a lot of places, but I haven't really been out of the country. And... I, I can so much tell you that I wish that I was uh, doing other things like visiting people in other countries and stuff. You know, I cut myself short. I could have been a doctor, a lawyer, anything. I could have been anything I wanted to be, and I chose this. Would you ever want to take a cruise one day? Oh, yeah. We, I, I can make that happen. I know a guy. I, I sure would. I sure would. You know, I hiked the Grand Canyon in one day, 28 miles. I was in bed for four days afterwards, peeing in a bottle. <laughs> but it was so worth it. It was so unbelievable. That's how strong we are. I was, it was so unbelievable. It was a very spiritual and, and enlightening Damn. thing. Um, you know, I love life. I love it, and I've denied myself. If I do come back as something else or whatever, you know, I just hope that I make some better choices. You know, I, I think it's real sad that this is in, the, in front of our youth today. I remember being in my youth going with stuff in front of me like this, and you know, um, these kids today got a lot less of a chance than I had. I, I really, I think this violence thing and this homeless thing and this neighborhood thing is is, is going to uh, exceed its um, exceed itself. It's, it's going to get out of hand before it gets better. Really out of hand. I'm worried about it. I would ask everybody just be cool, just be try to try to live and let live. I always try to remember that, live and let live, you know. Uh, peace, everybody. Thanks, Zach. Daniel.